Does the date January 6th ring a bell? Um, it does not actually. It does not? No. Are you an American? Yes, I yeah. am. Um, something happened, something really big. A lot of people won't stop complaining about it. Um, you never heard about it? I have not. No? Okay. Well, good for you. You're lucky that way. I'm gonna get a headache. I keep hearing about it so much. What happened on January 6th? I don't know. No. Something Something happened. Uh, people. Some people won't stop complaining about it. You're just getting people's... I couldn't tell you, no. but... <laughs> and we're just getting people's opinions on... I don't know what January 6th... what January 6th. What happened on January 6th? To this year? Yeah. Because I know, I don't know. No. Have you heard uh, that date being talked about at all? Not at all. Not at all? No. Something, I guess, kind of big happened. What's that? Uh, that's what we're trying to find out. We're just seeing if the mainstream media's propaganda is actually having an effect. And, and um, thankfully, it's not as effective as they would, they would hope. I don't have cable, man, so I don't, it doesn't see any news or anything. Oh, okay. What happened on January 6th? <laughs> no idea. What? What? What happened on January 6th? It was a mostly peaceful protest and some people got a little carried away and caused some trouble and, you know, the fake news won't stop complaining about it. Where is this like? This is in Washington, D.C. Oh, At the Capitol. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, honestly, dude, like, I'm gonna be real with you guys. Fucking government is a bunch of aliens, my guys. And they're, they came, they live in Antarctica, and that's why no one can, no civilians can go to Antarctica. Because these aliens came through, they're, they got, I mean, I don't know if the vaccine's a part of the plan, but they got plans. That's all I'm going to say. they're the reptilians? Yeah, exactly. All right, guys. Thank you. <laughs> January 6th, insurgents at the Capitol building? Mostly peaceful protest, but um, yeah, we'll just checking to see if you know what happened. No, not pe not peaceful at all. Not well, not at all. I mean, it was mostly peaceful. Though. I mean, by Black Lives Matter standards, probably uh, the most peaceful protest all year. No, not true. It didn't burn down. I mean, okay, know. have fun. Guys. Okay, thank you. January sixth. Yeah. Um, that's co that's a complicated question. Your opinion. My opinion. I don't know. I think a lot of those things are staged. Do uh, you guys know about like false flag events? Oh yeah, agent provocateurs. Yeah. yeah, so the FBI has been like caught a lot. Um, basically like they will infiltrate or they will start something and then get people to join them. In some cases there was just revealed that like, it was, I think it was like Gretchen Whitner's 12, alleged kidnapping. Yeah, uh -huh. like 12 yeah, out of 12 out of, here. We got someone who can see. 12 out of the 14 people were FBI agents, Correct. so like only two guys. Who were like you know desperate yes. for money and like connections? Oh yeah. No, there's a comedian who had a good, good bit on it, but they do that. But that's also to, to to make the public believe that we need them in order to sort of fight crime. So they're always creating crimes. We were just talking about the prison system. Well, they did that with Muslims during uh, you know, the war on terror. Yeah, everything. No, okay. Everything. Well, it's, it's great. Everything. It's great you know? to turn. But there are people out here who have a brain. That's, yeah. They do exist. Yeah. Speaking of noise, I keep hearing noise about January 6th. People won't stop complaining about it. About what? January 6th. What about it? Something happened and people won't stop complaining about it. Have you heard that? No, I haven't. You haven't heard of like the big, it was like a, a huge, you know, event that happened. A horrifying, really scary thing made a lot of people cry. Yeah, I guess it hasn't gotten to me. I'm in the hurry. Oh, good for you. Okay, yeah. We're talking about January 6th today. Okay. Tell me about it. Well, from what I saw, um, Got, might have got a little bit rowdy, but all in all, uh, I wouldn't have been scared to be there even if I was on the inside and had a badge on my chest. A lot of people haven't even heard of it. Oh, really? Yeah, we're just testing the effectiveness of mm -hmm. the liberal propaganda mm -hmm. to see, because they're trying to turn it into the new 9-11. You know? Sure. Oh, absolutely, um, yeah. With the commission so I'm and just, everything. I'm just testing to see if the date rings a bell with people, and a lot of people have no idea. Really? Which, I guess maybe they're just totally clueless mm -hmm. and it shows that the liberal media industrial complex isn't reaching as many people with their propaganda as they probably hope. So mm -hmm. January 6th, I don't it's know. It's a huge monumental day in history. People January won't stop 6th, talking January about it. They talk 6th. about it every single day because it was such a big deal. Tell me what happened on that day. Uh, it's, you got to give me some background. I, I mean, I'll let you know. It's a lot of history in my head. It's a lot of history. Give me like a... There was, uh, it was in Washington, D.C. Uh, yeah. 
Tell Wrong me about it. it. Wrong guy. There was Wrong a guy. protest. Oh. What do you got? You want a substitute? Substitution. No, no, no. <laughs> there was a big protest. There was a big protest about, uh, you it was, know. It was, something happened. There's uh, a lot of things happened. People January will stop 6th. complaining about it. I mean, talking about it. People have, uh, people complain about a lot of things. Nobody will stop talking about it. January 6th. What does that mean to you? Absolutely nothing. You want to know why? Yeah. Because it's all a lie. What does the liberal media say happened on January 6th? Well, they're claiming insurrection, but I, I yet to see someone get charged with insurrection. So why are they calling it insurrection? Come on now, sir. People were waving American flags. Well, yeah, I think they're a little upset because, uh, well, the election was and, Can't say uh, that on YouTube. We're going to have to edit that out when free speech is <laughs> not allowed on this platform. I think uh, we're living a very dangerous time right now, and I think people need to wake the hell up. Yeah. Right? I mean, that is, that will be a violation I, of terms of service. Soon saying that there's a Marxist takeover underway will be a violation of terms of service. But I do agree with you, sir. People won't stop talking about January 6th. Okay. What are your thoughts? It was January 6th. Uh, it was January 6th? It was. Uh, and what do you think about that? What do you think about January 6th? I hate the winter, so I don't know. The, the winter? Yeah. The winter. Yeah, January, no. January 6th. Yeah, that, that was a day. It's a cold day. Cold. Cold and rainy much. day. Yeah. AC uh, wasn't working. No. Wouldn't help. Any you. other events <laughs> happen, maybe of note, on that day? Not that I can think of. I can't stop hearing about January 6th, so okay. tell me what you think. Well, the president gave a rally and told people to go over and peacefully protest and have their voices heard. Yep. A bunch of people went there. There were some agitators amongst them. And they went into the Capitol. Many of them were shooed in by the Capitol Police. Well, we got someone here who can think. Since that time, the Democrats have been making more of this than they should particularly Nancy Pelosi. She never said one word about all the protests that killed police officers in the nine months prior to that. They cheered it. They had funds built up to let people out of jail. But if you protest in Washington, D.C., then they put you in solitary confinement for six months. It's a disgrace. Someone who should be arrested, however, is Dr. Fauci. And if you agree, order my new Arrest Dr. Fauci shirt from my online store at markdice.com. I like all of my designs. It's available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below and check it out.